What's going on? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Byte for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Are you all tired of the iPhone news and rumors? You know, even if it's still six months out? Well, let me try to spare you this week. April is just around the corner and all the talk is about new iPads. Now, a report from Digitimes says Apple has moved up their production plans for the new rumored 10.5 inch iPad and will unveil the product at an event in early April. Right now, we're expecting to see an edge to edge display with a possible virtual home button and a form factor that is almost the same physical size as the current 9.7, but it will gain 0.8 inches in screen size by getting rid of the bezels on the sides. Earlier reports said the new 10.5 inch model would not be ready until May or June. That might still be the case, but it's now been pushed up, which could mean an earlier release date. An upgraded 9.7 inch is expected to be a minor refresh with just an A10X chip for a speed boost. A refreshed 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the iPad that I'm looking at, better get at least the True Tone display, and we expect to see both announced at an April event, but the availability of the entire iPad family might be a little staggered. Now, analytics firm Fisku reports that they have seen four new iPad identifiers appearing in their logs. They're labeled iPad 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4, and represent the next gen iPads. Fisku says roughly 40 devices have been spotted, and this is normal to see about a month before a new product announcement. Now, some of the iPads were spotted running iOS 10.3, that makes sense, and some were even running iOS 11. We know this iOS 11 isn't expected until September during its normal release time. But that's not all running a new OS. The co founder of Fury Games reports a device with the identifier Apple TV 6.2 has appeared in its usage logs running TV OS 11 with an IP address within, you know, a close proximity of Apple's headquarters. Now, the current Apple TV is known as Apple TV 5.3. All signs would point to new hardware coming, and multiple reports, including Bloomberg, have claimed a new 4K model could come as early as this year. Now, my suggestion, get an A10X processor in there for 4K support. Get rid of the requirement for games to have to work with a standard remote only, so guess what? We can get more in-depth games, you know, even if it feels a little too late for that. You're also way too late on that TV streaming service, but if you get one, you know, then it becomes a whole lot more interesting for people outside of the ecosystem. Apple has also released the seventh beta for iOS 10.3, which brings Find My AirPods, Apple's new file system, and even a podcast widget like the music app has. They've also released the seventh beta for Mac OS 10.12.4, whose biggest change is the addition of Night Shift to the Mac. Now with the seventh betas out, we should be getting an official release very, very soon. Also, the Big A released their newest TV commercial called Sticker Fights, and it's a fun ad promoting Apple stickers for their messages app. But let's go back to that Caterpillar sticker or waffle scene. What's that on the left side? Like if you ask me, it looks like a white iPhone 7. Now I put it on Twitter and some people said uh, it's the silver iPhone, but look at all those white things in that shot. They're all the same color, that's white. And the knife above the plate, that's silver in that shot. And if it was the silver iPhone, you'd see those like antenna lines on the top edges, but I don't see them there. Now there were rumors of a jet white iPhone 7 that still haven't seen the light of day, but that looks like a white iPhone to me. And I probably spent way too much time on that. You know, maybe it's a white iPhone story. Okay, let's wrap things up on a good note. There are very few Apple Ones in existence, let alone ones that work. But according to The Telegraph, a German auctioneer will be making a functioning Apple One available for an auction with an estimated sales price of $320,000. There are believed to be only eight working units in existence. The Apple One will also come with all of its original documentation from the computer's first and only owner, including the receipt and original manual. You know, just like how you all do your eBay auctions when you're reselling Jordans and Yeezys that I can't get anymore because of all of you. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email us at theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.